Hey YouTube, it's Hank here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own backup partition of all your important files for free. In case your computer crashes and you need to reinstall Windows, this will basically allow you to back up all your files on your computer that you want backed up. In case the event the computer were to crash and you have to reinstall Windows, you will be able to reinstall Windows and do a clean install of Windows without losing the files on the computer and uh, it's real simple to do we want to be creating ourselves a partition up to, and it's going to be used to back up all the files that we have on the computer that we want to keep safe in case the computer crashes and we have to reformat the hard drive and reinstall okay so it's very easy to do and all you have to do is come down to your uh, start menu and this is going to be relatively the same for Windows 8 and Windows 7 and Windows 10. Well, Windows 7, you may need to do it something different. But for Windows 8 and Windows 10, you want to right click. And you want to, when you right click the start menu, you want to come into disk management. Now, if you're running on Windows 7 and Windows XP, you can get to this by clicking your start menu. And then here you'll look for something called My Computer or Computer. And you would right click on that for an example and what you would do is you would uh, right click on that and you would go into uh, manage and what that would do is it will open up this if you're running Windows XP or if you're running Windows 7 give it a minute and then you would come down to here where it says disk management all right so once you get your disk management window open you want to make it full screen and you want to select your C drive and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, creating a partition on our C drive and we're going to split the C drive into two pieces for uh, backup and uh, so what you want to do is you want to uh, make your partition a certain size so when, how much files you're depending on backing up so uh, it's going to be different so if you're planning on backing up 60 gigabytes of files you're going to make need to make a 60 gigabyte partition if you're planning on to back up over 100 gigabytes of files or whatever amount of files you're planning on backing up you may want to make this partition bigger but in this one i'm just going to make it a 60 gigabyte partition so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click right here where it says c and i'm going to right click and i'm going to go shrink volume and I'm going to create a 60 gigabyte partition. So this number here, I'm going to change to this, 60000. Zero, 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 zero. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click shrink. And what that will do is it will create us a nice 60 gigabyte partition. Now it's very important that you have 60 gigabytes of space available on the C drive so we can split it. Because if you don't have 60 gigabytes of space available, then you can't do this and you want to make your partition smaller so it really depends how much you have on your your C drive okay so now we have a 60 gigabyte unallocated partition created so what you want to do is you want to see where it says that unallocated and right click new simple volume click next click next and you want to assign assign a drive letter so assign a drive letter to whatever letter you want you can choose it doesn't matter I'm going to assign it Assign the letter B, B for backup, so it doesn't matter what letter you choose here, then click next. Then under volume label, call this backup. And uh, when you do that, you're going to click next, and then click finished. And then we, what we'll do is we'll create ourselves a nice 60 gigabyte backup. And when that's done, you're going to close out of the disk management window. And what you're going to do is you're going to go into your computer your start menu and find computer or my computer if you're running on Windows 7 or XP or if you're not running on Windows 7 or XP if you're running on Windows 10 or Windows 8 you're going to look for something called file explorer and open that up and if you're uh, not able to find that right away that's all right you'll find a little folder on your taskbar down here right where my mouse is open that little folder up and that will open it up the exact same thing and what we're going to do is we're going to locate the we're going to locate this PC and in here we're going to see we have a backup B drive now with, that's completely empty and what we're going to do is we're going to store all of our music documents photos and pictures onto this backup drive whatever is on the backup B drive will not be reformatted when you reformat the C drive in the event that you're going to reinstall Windows so you would basically store all your backup files on your computer in this B drive that you've created up and everything that's in this drive will be safe you can reformat the C drive and keep and everything on the B drive will be completely safe 
when you once you reinstall Windows, and then you can have all your files backed up to this B drive. So to uh, do that, it's real simple. All you want to do is you want to come into uh, your C drive, and you want to just uh, go to your users folder, click your username, highlight all these. For an example, like whatever you want, really, you don't have to do everything. Only if you want to just do your pictures, you can just do that, or you can just highlight everything. And you want to, what you can do is you can highlight everything, and you go down here, send to. Oh, you can't do it that way, but you want to just basically copy all that over, and we'll drag it into your B drive. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and do that because there's no need to back it up, but I'll show you what it looks like. It's very simple. So if you're going to back up your documents, drag your documents into the B drive. And there's not enough space for some reason. Hang on. Or if you're going to back up your downloads folder, you'll back it up to here. And that will basically back up the file to your B drive. So say you have photos or anything you want. So say you have some stuff. I don't know. Whatever you have on here. Pictures. We're just going to use these as an example. You can drag them all into your B drive. And the, the, the whole point is that whatever is stored on the B drive is going to be completely safe when you reformat the computer. So all your important documents must be stored on this B drive and you're good and it's all safe. So you can basically reinstall Windows and when you reinstall Windows you can come back into here and you'll have your B drive with all your files still on here. And uh, if you enjoy my videos please remember to comment, write, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.